Welcome back, two-wheeled friends. We are up here in northern Grant County, South Dakota. It's just north of Millbank. Not sure if I'm going to tie in Corona with this video. If you just watched Corona, I decided to put it in. But we're out here because in one of the previous videos, we talked about how you could see this. Well, you can't see it now. But we talked about how you could see this big power plant from way back there for miles, like 20, 30 miles easy. So I thought, oh, what the heck? I'm going to get you over here to take a look at it. We should get a pretty good look at it up here on top of this hill. I don't know a lot about this power plant. I know when I was younger, so let's say 25, yeah, between 20 and 25 years ago, we used to come up here and hunt. So this area had a lot of geese. Once things kind of started freezing over a little bit, Kind of a weird spot for that car. Anyways. Things would freeze over all the water, so all the geese, the Canada geese would come up here and we'd come up here and hunt them. And I think there was times we were actually on this road now that I think of it. I haven't been on this road since then, and you try to get them as they flew over. I don't know how close we can get. But I remember going all over, like along here, trying to get somewhere close. You know, and at that time I was just new to driving. So I was always riding along with my dad. He was always leading us. But at the time, you could get into certain parts of this facility and wait for them to fly over. And I remember one time we were up here and they were like, I mean, they were probably as high as that, that stack shooting at them. And I, you know, I dropped one and being that high, it was still alive. So I had to go what felt like a mile to go retrieve it. And there's a ton of people up here hunting and just kind of made a big scene. But it's amazing how far away you can see this. There's a big whole facility here. You can look it up on Google Earth. I, I believe it's Poet. Poet Energy? I believe that's who has it now. Reduce speed ahead. Oh, well that seems like a pretty good time for a rev bomb in here. Looks like I can go that way, but I don't know if I should. So I don't know if there's any big power plant fans in the area. There it is. Poet Bio Refining Big Stone. We're gonna get a we're not gonna come all the way up here without getting some kind of picture. Right? No way. Oh, 
we'll see where this road goes. Oh, it does say it. So maybe, maybe there's a way you can get in here yet. And maybe you can punt out here in that grass. Oh, here we go. State waterfowl refuge. Closed to waterfowl hunting only. Because I almost feel like I should get a picture from down here. It's a badass picture. All right, let's resync the cameras. One, two, three. Big stone plant, Northwestern Energy. That's really loose rock. There, where's neutral? So you guys are probably really sick of me getting on and off the bike. So there must be two things. That's the power plant and this is Poet. So that's built, that wasn't there when this was. So that's where the confusion comes in I think. So we're going to head up that way and just see. Man, that's leaning quite a bit. Be careful on this stuff. Like sand. sure there's no heavy equipment crossing today anyways yeah look at this this is massive so yeah see all the water out here So this, typically, so that typically stays open in the winter and geese really like it. Remember where we were? We were we were kind of in a hilly area, 
close to this because they'd get up off the water and that's when we would shoot at them. But this has probably changed so much since, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Tempted to walk up there and look. So yeah, sorry for the confusion earlier in the video. That's the power plant we were just at. That place is a biofuel refinery. So an ethanol plant. Kind of like what we have in our town. We need you to buckle up. Now well, I'm buckled up. Got my helmet on. Let's see where this goes. bunch of train cars down there. Kind of hiding down there. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this video. I showed you guys the big stone power plant. It's located uh, I'd probably guess about 55 miles from my hometown. I put on 77 miles, just kind of going all over the place to get here. I have a feeling this road is going to lead us right into Big Stone. You can kind of see some fencing and things off to the side here as part of the power plant yet. I see a water tower up here. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Big Stone Therapies. It's a nice building. I was going to wrap the video up, but I'm going to take you up here. Just take you into Big Stone a little bit. Get a picture with this water tower, maybe. How's that? This looks like a good spot. It's a nice water tower. Nice paint on it. All right, two-wheeled friends, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Appreciate you coming along, checking out that power plant back there. Checking out the the uh, big water tower, going for a little ride up into Big Stone. This is a bordering city, so the next city over is Ortonville, Minnesota. There's a river that divides the two, and actually there's some hills over there. That's actually Ortonville. The river and I think it's kind of a lake in there uh, Big Stone Lake and Lake Traverse and we will cover that in another video sometime in the future but 
Don't forget to go down and click that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the water. Or let me know what you think of the, the power plant in the comments below and what you thought of the ride. Until next time, peace out. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.